G'day guys, Matty Lundberger here. Welcome to this week's uh, Masterclass. I'm joined by Joel Patful, one of our most versatile defenders. How are you, mate? Good, mate. Good. Mate, can you give us a couple of key things for becoming a good defender? Probably one of the main things is body positioning um, and using your strengths as what's, what works for you. Like if you're, if you're a quick guy, um, using your speed to close down the leads. If you're a strong guy, you want to maybe hold them in close and, and get them one-on-one. -on -one. So just working to your strengths, um, which is always something that sort of worked for me. Body positioning is obviously pretty important. Can you take us through some of the body positioning that you use on your opponents? Yeah, yeah. so there's a few different things we can use. Um, so, for example, if I was playing on you, um, I'd probably try and get pretty low, get in, get in nice and close, and then even you can use your legs and sort of move them out of the way like that, sort of push them through, get them off balance. Um, I wouldn't want you to jump because you're pretty high, get high. So, yeah, just get in nice and low, even get that one, push you in try to stop you from jumping up at the footy. Can you show us how to, uh, seems basic, but can you show us how to spoil? Yeah, um, yeah. so I think a trap that a lot of guys get into is trying to spoil too hard. Like they sort of take a big, massive swing, end up taking a fresh airy, so sorry mate. <laughs> Bit of a fresh airy, so um, what I usually do that works for me, just, you know, straight arm. Don't try and have a massive swing at it because then you can start losing the footy and stuff like that. So straight arm through the line of the footy and try and get over the boundary line or punch it wherever you're trying to punch it. Uh, who, who's the best uh, defender you've had the chance to play with? Mate, I'd probably have to say Justin Lepic. He was sort of at the top of his game when I first got up here um, and then he was my defensive coach as well for a few years. So learned a lot off him and um, still use a lot of his tricks and stuff that he taught me over, over those first few years. Still use a few of them you know, when I'm playing now, so he was a pretty big influence for me. Well, thanks for joining us, Joel. Defensive skills are obviously something everyone needs in their game, so I uh, hope you guys got something out of it, and I'll see you again next week.